Scott. You have to go to my Facebook, though, because I put a picture of him smiling, and then it really will change the way that you think of him once you see his teeth. All right, anyway, downtown, things are looking really nice here in downtown Bakersfield. That cloud coverage is really starting to set in and cooling things down in just a couple hours. But if it felt like the longest day of the year, it's because it was. I'll have more on that summer solstice coming up. We're seeing 97 right now at Meadows Field, 81 in Tehachapi, and then 90 in Mojave right now. So things are looking really nice. Wind speeds, though, picking up around the Fraser Park and Grapevine area. Nothing to worry about if you're traveling, though we are seeing 25 mile per hour winds over in Mojave now, 17 in Tehachapi, and then 13 up in Ridgecrest. Ridgecrest is really warm right now. As far as the ground, we are seeing some scattered ground clutter, but that's about it. No precipitation in, in uh, sight, according to our storm shield Doppler as we sweep our radar. Really, things are looking hot and dry thanks to high pressure keeping us nice and warm. And there's that high right there. Things are going to cool down, though, come uh, Thursday of next week. We are going to drop down into the 80s. But first, let's talk about what this day really means. Happy first day of summer. Certainly starting to feel like it. In fact, it has felt like it for the last couple of weeks that we aren't seeing hundreds. It's the Earth's northern hemisphere tilting towards the sun. So the North Pole is at the furthest axis tilting towards the sun. And it's the highest sun position in the sky, which yields the longest day of the year year. Just how long? Well, 14 hours, 32 minutes, and 45 seconds. That's the longest day of the year. That means the sunset won't happen until about a quarter after 8 tonight. So you still have full, a full two hours of sunshine. And that, of course, began at 351 this morning. So enjoy your first day of summer and your longest day of the year, everyone. Right now, 97. Our high today was 100 degrees. It looks like we just hit 100 a couple hours ago. And that's about 8 degrees higher than our normal that we're used to seeing. Looking at our AQI index tomorrow, we will be in the moderate range. It is unhealthy for sensitive groups, however, though, right now. 79 up in South Lake Tahoe tomorrow, and then 99 in Fresno, 69 up in San Francisco, 87 in uh, Solvang, 70s in Santa Barbara and Ventura, and then down in Southern California. We'll get up to about 81 in Disneyland. Great day for those parks. And then 108 in Palm Springs. Here in the Valley, though, looks like 98 is going to be that magic number tomorrow with overnight lows in the 60s. 86 over in Tehachapi, 94 in Isabella, 86 also in Fraser Park, and then 104 for a high in Ridgecrest. That'll be the only area in the Kern County Mountains and deserts hitting those triple digits tomorrow. 66 overnight tonight, mostly clear, and the winds will be light northwest at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And then you're going to see similar situations today, or tomorrow rather, from what we saw today, a high of 98 degrees, sunny skies, and things are going to look really, really nice tomorrow. So what about for the next seven days? Well, upper 90s through Tuesday, and then look at that gorgeous drop on Thursday into those upper 80s, 91 by Friday, 94 by Saturday. And so things are looking really nice. Overnight lows there in the 60s over in our Kern River Valley. Breezy conditions midweek, 90 by this time next week. And then finally in our mountain range, we're going to see breezy conditions, possibly a wind advisory throughout the entire week next week. Overnight lows in the 50s, though, but 80s by Thursday. Something to look forward to. Overall in summer, that's looking good. Absolutely. Thanks, Lauren. Mm -hmm. All right.